Next, on Vox Africa, Anna Michael brings you unique showcases on Nigeria. And now, I will be joining, you know, Kidney Foundation for Africa on their amazing, amazing uh, walkathon that they held recently in Lagos, Nigeria to mark, you know, the 2017 edition of the World Kidney Day. They had an amazing time. It was a great, great and successful event. Let's check them out. <laughs> one of the directors of Kidney Foundation for Africa. This week is the World Kidney Foundation Week. The actual date is on the 9th of March, but we flagged it off today with a walk. We're here for the Kidney Foundation, support the Kidney Foundation, and um, with kidney disease, you have to be really careful, drink plenty of water, check your blood pressure, those are signs, swollen feet, if you're going to the toilet very often, check it, but at the same time we have to look after ourselves, eat properly, less salt, and just be healthy. If you feel unwell, see a doctor, check your BP, it's very important. We are celebrating World Kidney Day, which is next week on Thursday. And um, our mother actually started the Kidney Foundation for Africa. She suffered from chronic kidney disease and then she went on to have a kidney transplant. Um, sadly, she passed away a year and a half ago, but her work lives on and we hope that we prevent loads of people from having kidney diseases by doing simple things like taking their blood pressure and also monitoring their blood sugar. Today what we have done, we have created awareness in GRE Kedja. Hopefully by distributing our flyers we have saved some lives. So we advise everyone to stay healthy, avoid junk food, reduce their salt intake, and have regular checkups with the doctor to make sure that your blood pressure is not too high and to make sure you're not diabetic. Happy World Kidney Day. Executive Director of uh, Kidney Foundation of Africa. We are the organizers of this uh, work, the Work for Life. The objective is to create awareness, to let people know the importance of our kidneys and how to prevent them from failing. The NGO here has organized um, the work, uh, which uh, I've been proud to participate in. About three, four, five kilometer walk around GRA. And uh, of course, during that uh, trip, we Give out a lot of flyers to mobilize, to educate um, all the people around the route on the advantages of looking after their health. Uh, so we organize this work every year, and this year's work has been sponsored by Adam and Eve, uh, Adcam, Visions, Opticals, and Pathcare. So we've walked around GRE this year, handing out leaflets, information leaflets. The previous years we had done the island, Lekki, so this year is the turn of the mainland. So we look forward to having you again next year and we believe that the work has uh, created more awareness. People know what to do, what to prevent, what not to eat, how to drink, how to rest so that their kidneys will function optimally and they can live for a long time. Alleviating the cost of living with renal failure. So the, because once you have renal failure, you are either paying for dialysis or you've got a transplant and you need so many drugs to keep your body from rejecting the kidney. So it's a tough call. 
which is why the foundation is doing its best to reduce the cost of the drugs and offering advice on how to maintain, how to live again after complete renal failure. The need for us to create an awareness to let people know that how you take care of your body right now, because nobody knows how long we're going to live. So assume you're going to be, you're going to live for like 40 years, I mean, 40, 50, 70 years, and you're not looking after your kidney now. How do you hope to survive? In my industry, we see people fly out every day for kidney transplants, liver transplants, one transplant or the other. I think it, it's something to be more preventive about than curative. The original person who started the NGO, Dr. Bosse Peters, we were classmates, and she had complete renal failure. She had to live with a kidney replacement. So, well, so that's the beginning of the foundation. It's now four years old. It's getting bigger every year. Hopefully it will get bigger because it's important that people are aware of the causes of renal failure. Hypertension, diabetes, once you have any of those, you have to be extra careful. Thank you viewers, I'm glad you are watching and I hope you too will remember that it's important to maintain a healthy lifestyle so that you can maintain healthy kidneys because without your kidneys, you cannot get rid of the toxins that your body generates on a daily basis. Well, that was an amazing time spent with the Kidney Foundation for Africa. I hope you all get to check out your systems just to be sure that you don't have any of those symptoms, you know, that might be pointing to the fact that you have a uh, kidney problem. Basically, please be more health conscious.